Ja, ähm, das war dein, dein bestes Karrierespiel, äh, zweistellige Werte, drei Punkten und Rebounds und trotzdem eine Niederlage. Kannst du deine Gefühlswelt so ein bisschen einordnen? Ähm, ja, ich meine, die Niederlage ist halt echt ähm, blöd. Ähm, deswegen ist es halt, also ja, ist schön und gut, dass ähm, Punkte hoch waren, aber ähm, natürlich will man den Sieg eher haben. <lacht> Hi all, thanks for joining us. Um, I just want to know, I guess from the players, how did tonight's game show, I guess, how difficult it was to play without JJ for the first time this season? Yeah, I mean, JJ is a key piece of what we do and, um, you know, knowing, finding out that she was going to be out, um, It's just a, a little piece of adversity, and it, it gives an opportunity for the next person up. Um, I thought Nee, nee had great minutes, uh, but obviously um, just the, the different lineups and stuff are, are what we have to get used to because you never know what's going to happen. Thank you. We'll go to Andrew. Thanks a lot, Brian. Now, Stewie, you took a shot to the nose after on that final rebound. Everything good with your nose, and that's the only question I have. No, yeah, my nose is good. I um was just trying to get in there and make something happen, and then I got an elbow. <laughs> Miles? Hey, Brianna. There's been a, a trend the last couple of games, getting off to some slow starts with lots of turnovers. There were eight turnovers in that first quarter. Yeah. What can the starting five do in terms of intentionality to get off to a cleaner start in these games? Yeah, I mean, I think we can, you know, come out a little bit, more aggressive but but also kind of smarter we're just trying to um make the home run play or look for look to score on the first the first side and uh putting ourselves in a bad position and I think that you know it's it's on the starters it's on you know myself to make sure that we're you know ready to come out and and know where the ball is gonna go um so we kind of just need to grow up in that aspect Lucas Uh, hey guys, my question's just for Niara. Um, start you start you have a, or you start in the second half, and you have a really strong performance. I guess just what were you feeling, seeing out there, knowing uh, you were probably going to play more minutes with JJ out, and did you kind of accomplish what you wanted to accomplish when you when you heard that news? Um, I mean, yeah, just like kind of uh, stepping into that um, role uh, when I knew obviously JJ was out, big cho shoes to fill. <laughs> tried my best <laughs> um but just like kind of being persistent and knowing um that uh, i just have to do the little things whether it's on defense or screen and roll um and i mean luckily i made my layups today so <laughs> that kind of was good <laughs> thank you guys jeff Hello, all. Sorry I didn't go your way tonight. My question will be for Coach. Uh, when it comes to the turnover issues, to bounce off of Miles' question a little bit, would you say it's a result of, you know, many, how fixable are these issues pretty much? Would you say it's a result of many moving pieces returning? Would you say it's fatigue or perhaps fixable negligence on, on, on everyone's end? No, I think it's it's easy to um, to fix there. I think we're just trying to, to score too early in the possession where we should just be moving the ball and trying to have quick hitters. Uh, you yeah, know, we have to get back. What? Why are we... Uh, you know, won all these games. We played in the right way. and um, But the turnovers are just really unforced, I think, just forcing the issue. and uh, So it's, it's an easy fix. It's just playing with a little bit more poise. Appreciate your time and insights, say trail. Alfred? Hi, uh, this question is for Coach. Coach, even though Niara missed some time this season, among second-year players, she ranks top five in total blocks and steals. Today she was able to provide a steal in two blocks. How is it to continue to just see Niara flourish on the defensive end? Yeah, like I mean, it's great to see to see Niara back out there and 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 playing so well. We we just think she has this amazing potential. And it's going to get keep getting better and better. And you know what a really strong game tonight. I mean, to, she's very reliable. She's uh, you know can do things at both ends of the floor and you know adds another dimension to our to our team. So happy for her and hopefully can continue to grow that. Thank you, Russell. Yeah, uh, building off of that uh, question for Niara, um, you know, statistically the, the numbers were there tonight, but it, it does feel like you've sort of been building up to this the last few games or you've had some really quality minutes uh, over the last couple of weeks. Just wondering, have you felt yourself kind of building up to a performance like this? And, and what does it do for your confidence that you were able to, you know, go out there and, and provide the uh, the production that you did? 
Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, the more games you play, I feel like the more comfortable you get. Um, and I mean, obviously, I have great teammates around me that always know um, where I am or like passing the ball. Um, I feel like that makes it really easy on my part. Um, but yeah, just kind of staying persistent and uh, trusting in the work that I put in. Thank you. We'll take one more from Jackie. Yeah, just to circle back, uh, Niara, you mentioned that you had huge shoes to fill in, in JJ, but I'm just curious as to how JJ has influenced you and your play. Um, I mean, a lot. I've, I've been watching her forever, not just uh, since I've been in the league, but before that, obviously. Um, she's always been like a, a big role model and just being able to like practice with her, practice against her and just watching her. Um, I sh shoot with her a lot um, and just kind of being able to pick her brain uh, means a lot because she's like one of the best post players in this league. And then I have Stewie, um, the other best post player in the league. Um, so it's really like, I'm really grateful and um, not a lot of people can say that they play with such amazing players. Great. Thank you. Thank you.